October is for every YouTuber a blessing because we know exactly what to talk about and that is Halloween stuff. And the horror film genre is big. I don't like horror though, I, I, I find it scary. But you guys did seem to enjoy our previous episodes from crawling out of your own grave like a zombie to Jenik's face getting painted like Pennywise from IT. We've done a lot already but what we haven't recreated yet is the famous scene from The Ring where a beautiful girl crawls out of a well through the television. Ah, I still get the creeps when I think about it. Well, we found a super awesome solution to recreate that effect, which anyone can do. You don't even need to tear apart your television. And oh yeah, today's the last day for our intern Matisse, so um, I have a little surprise for him. So it's our intern Matisse last week, so we decided he can play the ring girl coming out of the TV. So, get dressed! By the way, he is uh, buying pizza today because it's Friday when you see this and he's buying us pizza. So like you can hear, they're doing some drilling in the wall, but we want to start recording and we need some audio, so we're screwed! We have our horror set and now it's just a matter of shooting our shots to make the ring effect. The first shot is going to be a shot from a tripod aimed at the TV. We actually did two shots, one long shot and one close up. Then for the second shot we need to go to another room. Now for the second shot we need a door to the outside. We are shooting on an overcast day because we want to create this contrast between our inside shot and outside shot. Outside is going to be bluish because of the daylight and inside we can recreate the same lighting as we have in our horror set. Orangey because of the tungsten light we are using, making it much easier to match all the shots. Of course we are using a green screen with a hole inside so our talent can crawl through it like he's the real girl from the ring. One thing very important is that you match the camera angle from your first shot with your second shot. We are doing this by using this tape on the screen and marking our previous TV from our first shot so we can match it with that hole. Is that clear? I think so. Yes. One bonus tip is that you can leave your TV on this static snow. Then you can use it as an overlay making your post-production much easier. Defense the stop button didn't work. Disconnected. Take two, and this one is gonna work. Stop. First try. To those who don't know yet, I just got back from the Faroe Islands to shoot an Avatar inspired movie, and the edit is almost finished. Actually, we're already working on a VFX, and I wanna show you guys a sneak peek. Here is the element of fire. How awesome is that? Everything is being made inside Adobe After Effects, all the four elements, by the way. That is absolutely no problem on the MSI Creator Z17. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I've actually been using this laptop now ever since it came out, and it's been absolutely amazing. I also brought it with me to the Faroe Islands, by the way. But let's talk about specs, guys. It comes with the latest Intel 12th generation CPU, which comes with P cores, which are meant for the heavy duty tasks, and E cores, which are more for the everyday tasks. And also comes with the latest NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card. So this is a beast of a computer. What you're looking at right here is red raw footage, and on top of that, super heavy visual effects. No problem whatsoever on this laptop. The MSI True Pixel display has a beautiful ratio of 16 by 10, giving you a little bit more working area. Quality HD plus resolution and the display itself covers 100% for the DCI-P3 color profile. That means it is perfect for color correction and grading tasks. It even comes pre-calibrated out of the factory with a Delta E under 2 and in plain English that is just super good. And oh yeah, it, it's a touch display, it supports pen touch as well, that's a very nice bonus. Furthermore, it has Wi-Fi 6E, Thunderbolt 4 with PD charging and a 90 watt hour battery inside which gives you plenty of power. And with MSI Center Pro, the software that the laptop comes with, you can prioritize certain 
app so that you have the best performance for every scenario. And all of that in a beautiful CNC designed uni body. This laptop is just gorgeous to look at. I would say it's like an Apple MacBook, but with higher specs inside. This is most definitely a laptop that I can recommend to any creative. To learn more about it, definitely check out the link in the description down below, guys. You will not regret this little bad boy. I have actually two different shots where I can create the effect on. This close-up from the TV and this long shot. They both work with the exact same principle. However, we will be using the long shot for this tutorial. To start, I place the shot in a timeline inside After Effects. And fun fact, I actually first tried to make this effect inside Premiere Pro. However, the masking inside Premiere is horrifying. So back in After Effects, I placed the green screen shot of our talent on top of the original shot and I matched the position of the TV and the hole in the green screen. Then I will duplicate my green screen shot. On the top duplicate, I keyed out the green. And if you have a difficult key, just like me, you can combine it with some rotoscoping, creating the perfect key. Now I pre-composed all the keyed out clips and called it outside TV. On the other green screen duplicate, I added some blue color grading and a VHS effect from Red Giant, creating a TV look. I then also pre-composed the clip and called it inside TV. With a very simple mask, I singled out the part that will play inside the TV and I also adjusted the blending mode to hard light, giving a super cool blending with the static snow on the TV. Did I scare you? Be honest, let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, hit that like button. It helps us understand what you enjoy watching. Back to the effect. Next up, let's make the talent come out of the TV. On the clip where I keyed them out, I will look for the point where they are coming through the green screen hole. And here, I will create a simple mask on the body part that comes out first. I will then animate the mask to open up and follow along with all the body parts coming out of the TV. Of course, it's possible that you will need multiple masks as not everything will come out all at once. Now, once I'm happy with my revealing mask, I can duplicate that layer two times. On the first duplicate, I will duplicate the animated mask on the layer and make it smaller by decreasing the expansion. I also feathered it a bunch and set it to subtract. Then I added a Lumetri effect to it, increased the exposure and also made it more blue. And now I have a glow on my talent coming from the TV. Next up is the interaction glow line. On our top duplicate, I will add the Saber effect. This is a plugin from Video Copilot. I'll leave a link in the description below. When added, I can choose a style, set the core type to layer masks and fine tune it. Once done, I again pre-compose the layer, change the blending mode to screen and start masking everything I don't need. The line only needs to be visible inside the TV and only on parts where the talent is coming out of it. Only thing left now is to add some shadow on our cabinet and floor. Add some pulse distortion on the TV screen and add an extra glow on the TV itself. Finish it off with a handheld motion and boom, we are done. Hmm, let's see what's on TV. That was scary. Anyway, thank you MSI for sponsoring this video, thank you guys for watching, and if you want to know how to crawl out of the ground like a zombie, check that video out right there. Stay creative.